It's Tuesday morning, and it's really early in the morning, and for some strange reason, they called four of my coworkers into this room, and nobody has a clue of what is going on. General, I'm glad you came in today. I want to talk to you a little bit. Um, the physical you took yesterday, you came in positive for cancer. And the type of cancer oh, that you have, man. the type of cancer that you have, what? is the rarest that we know of. And right now, undoubtedly, you have Five days to live. Oh, five yes. days! I gotta run. I insurance be here if you contact your insurance. Our lawyer's here. Good luck, gentlemen. Tell me I got five days to live. Please, gentlemen, try to remain. What? Five days? Five days? What is this, a joke? I'm too young to die. Five days to live. I still can't believe this. It feels so wrong. I mean, what have I done to deserve this? I may have done some petty bad things in the past, but why me? Why now? It just seems like time is moving so fast and I'm stuck in first place. When I got home, home didn't seem like home. I warmed up some leftovers, but the leftovers tasted like leftovers. So I tried to watch a little football, but my team started losing, so I turned off the TV. I laid in my bed trying to sleep, but sleep just wouldn't come fast enough. It's like a million and one things were running through my head, things that I hadn't thought of. Did I do enough in my life? So I went outside, and I borrowed the neighbor's newspaper. My phone rings. It's Brett from Human Resources. He tells me how sorry he is to hear the news. He starts telling me about what he's heard about the other four guys. He says that Jim went back to his wife and three kids. Adam went home to his wife only to tell her he was gay and he was leaving her for his lover Rufus. I kind of got a kick out of that story. And Kenneth, well, Kenneth decided to go on a gambling binge. Turns out Roman had killed five girls years ago. He turned himself in. I guess you never know. It's day five. Am I actually gonna die today? So I decided to do something. Something I should have done. something in my voice that told her that I wasn't lying to her. So she agreed to let me talk to my son, Kyle. She put him on the phone. And for the first time in my life and in his life, we talked. I told Kyle that I was his daddy. started counting for me, telling me his ABCs, and at that same time, I could feel myself slipping away. I guess now I know why everything happens for a reason. It took this to happen to me to make me realize what I'd missed out on. 